Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will uh, uh, continue where we left off on the last one, and um, we will look at um, putting uh, this um, uh, lean-to roof uh, in at the front. We will then uh, sort of uh, check around the building, make sure everything is fine, and uh, we will then uh, look at uh, the um, uh, the fencing and uh, landscaping uh, we'll begin um, work on that and at the end we will we would have um, obviously um, moved the scheme uh, forward from uh, where we started I hope um, you have perhaps learned or reinforced some of uh, the concepts that we learned uh, during uh, the uh, uh, during the main course or tutorials on uh, this Revit series. If you haven't, um, a lot of the concepts that we are using are in the tutorial series. Um, it may be uh, that um, it's best for you to uh, go back to some of uh, the tutorials um, and uh, obviously uh, sort of uh, learn or revise uh, some of the concepts that we have already uh, covered. So yeah, that is important. These uh, series of case studies only reinforce, they reinforce uh, the tutorials um, in this series. So um, uh, my hope is that uh, you use both uh, together. Uh, to uh, uh, one reinforces the other. So if we if we if we move on, then we we'll go back to level uh, zero. Oh, we can actually if we look at uh, that three D, we can pick up this roof. A very quick, short way of doing it is um, instead of building uh, each roof again, I will just select that roof, go to uh, level one, and that's the roof there. And I can uh, use the copy command. Copy. Um, just find a place that will be very easy to um, uh, locate on the next um, unit. So, for instance, if I use this um, spot, then I can come to this one and find the um, same spots there. And that's my roof. And I go to the last one. Um, obviously, I haven't um, ticked um, the the multiple uh, copy. So if I do copy again, it's always good to uh, check this and uh, tick it. Then that way you can copy multiple times. So if I copy again and uh, move that to that end. So. Uh, the lower roofs are done. If I check 3D, now that that is done, I'm going to uh, just go around very quickly and uh, cross check on some of uh, the work that we've already done. If I just click on that roof, shift and rotate. Right, I can straight away see uh, these windows are uh, placed incorrectly. So if I if I um, if I go back to that's level one. If I go back to level one, there is uh, the the windows. So uh, if I delete that and delete that, I need to use uh, this uh, window style, which is one three six zero one two one zero. Right, so if I go to architecture, um, window, select the right one, and uh, insert that there, insert that there. And then if I use this one, 910910, uh, size inside the um, Toilets. So if I go to um, window, 
Right, okay, so uh, let's look at uh, 3D, see what it looks like. Ah, no, that's, um, that's fine. Right, um, another way to do this is um, if I uh, the easiest way to align them is if I remove those windows again if I remove that one take that one out and take that one out and if I select these ones click and control click and then use this command here which is copy to clipboard paste uh, select levels level one okay that way they are um, aligned There's one missing, which is that one. If I select it, copy to uh, clipboard, uh, paste, align select levels, level one. Okay. And it goes in. That way it goes in. Uh, it all matches then and goes in perfectly, one on top of uh, one on top of the other. Um, just to check that it's done. Um, yes, it's all in. If I go back to 3D and um, just click on that, rotate around, make sure everything is uh, fine, that is aligned, that is, uh, that is okay, that's the bar. But actually, let me have a look at uh, the upper floor. Um, we can use a different window here, so uh, we use this um, size window. So if I go back to that 3D, um, click on that, delete, click on that and delete. Then if I select that, um, control, click and then copy to clipboard paste click the arrow align to select levels level one okay that's much better that's uh, that's much much better um at least uh, you've seen one way to do it i mean that way uh, you're placing them one over the other um really this course is about any concepts uh, the details, um, obviously, you've got to work through. We've got very limited time to design um, a full building in uh, the call in the time that we've got uh, for this uh, particular course. So uh, uh, you have to go around and tidy up um, uh, the drawings uh, yourself, and uh, but uh, you would have learnt the main concepts, which is really uh, what uh, uh, the, our concern is or the main uh, objective on uh, in this case study so having done that now if we go back to level uh, zero I want to do some uh, uh, fencing around the building perhaps I uh, put uh, this uh, car uh, the car parking spaces one two three four five six and uh, uh, some fencing around um, 
uh, the building. Okay, so uh, if we if we start with um, the fencing, what we can do is uh, we go to uh, wall. We can start with this uh, basic partition um, block wall. We'll go to edit type, do uh, duplicate, and call that uh, fence. Okay, uh, site fence, and say okay. Uh, we'll do edit. We'll uh, we'll delete. Uh, we we'll delete that. We we'll delete the finish on this side. Then uh, the structure. We we'll, uh, let's use um, timber. So if we scroll down and look for. Site wood lumber. Okay. Um, oh, um, let's just let's use wood. Uh, wood. Um, okay, that's fine for now. If we just uh, if we use that. Um, Thickness. Okay, let's use um, let's use twelve point five, and you say do okay. Just a quick check side fence, okay. And if we can then uh, draw our fence, uh, that's the site uh, boundary there. So, um, first of all, if I go back, architecture wall height not level one. Um, I'll leave that as unconnected and uh, leave it at 1.8 meters. So it's 1800. 1800. Right, so and then uh, we can draw. We'll draw the fence along the property line. Uh, cancel come out of that we do the same thing uh, from the other side so if we go back to architecture wall we'll pick it up from here to so that side okay uh, we need to Right, um, this is a curve, so we just need to use um, a curve. to uh, the straight line 
and then we finish cancel or escape out if we have a quick look at uh, 3D you can see um, the fencing is taking shape so if I just uh, hold on to any one and just look up see what we've done okay let's do um, the um, the party fence between them very quickly wall uh, basic wall side fence yep that's what we're looking for and if we start from there take it to the end there and escape start from there take it down there and move it to the end there again and escape so if we look again at our 3D um, we can see the divisions between them um, is now there Um, before we finish, let's have a quick look at um, this uh, uh, car pack. So if we go back to level 0, uh, components, let's save the project. And uh, let's load family. If we go to um, it's a, a site. Road markings, no. Let's do that again. Um, architecture components, we load family, then we look for parking. Then uh, you can see uh, various. Um, parking bays so if I yeah that's uh, six one two three four five six yep so if I select that and do open that loads it into our project now I'm going to see uh, position it all I've done is uh, use my uh, uh, my space bar and then I just click and now uh, it goes in. Obviously, it's a slightly different size from uh, the one that was imported from uh, from AutoCAD, but the size is is fine. So we'll we'll use the Revit one, and that uh, has gone in. Uh, and uh, if we look at 3D, there, okay right okay i think we should finish here and um and continue when we come back we'll look at uh, further landscaping okay i think it's a good place to finish so um in this tutorial we looked at uh, how to copy over the roof we looked at um how to ensure that uh, windows are aligned we have done it uh, different ways uh, sometimes you have got to make sure that you're picking up uh, uh, the right components as well. So we uh, align them uh, using uh, copy to clipboard and then paste to select levels. Then uh, we had a look at uh, the fencing. We used um, uh, looked at the architectural elements, uh, used edit type uh, to find, um, uh, to compose it. And then uh, we've done uh, the fencing route for each uh, property. Then we went on to look at uh, the parking. Uh, we've inserted the parking. And we will continue from here at uh, the next uh, tutorial. Uh, we'll look at uh, more uh, landscaping and uh, grass options option for this uh, particular uh, site. So we are, uh, we, are, we are moving along. And see you next time.